All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we we'll give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the whole flock of Israel. And uh, the title of this lesson is based going to be after um, what Isaiah uh, 59 and 19. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall set up a standard against him. <clears throat> um, and, you know, a lot of you know brothers, you know, through the Spirit, you know, going from apostle, you know, apostles on down, you know, going into Jacob's trouble and how it's very, very, very near. And how, you know, uh, the Most High is, is closing the doors, all right, because this great water, all right, the great waters is uh, about to arise, all right? You know, just as the days of old, you know, the earth was consumed by water, all right, the, the, this time the earth shall be consumed with uh, burning fuel, bu burning fuels of fire, okay, by these nuclear missiles, all right, great destruction, you know, you can see the waters as troubles, okay, think of, uh, you know, how powerful uh, moving water is, you know, and this is going into when the enemy shall come in like a flood, all right, how, how uh, fast, you know, that's why you have flash floods, okay, and how powerful uh, these these uh, moving waters are, all right, and these moving waters, all right, a flood consumes everything in its path, all right, and if, uh, if you know, whatever this flood hits, all right, doesn't have a proper foundation, that it will be overcome by this great moving force of water, okay, and going into how the scriptures are parabolic, all right, it's in a language that only the elect will understand, all right, because only the elect, these words are pertaining onto, all right, the, the word, the word always goes out, and the word doesn't go out void, all right, and, you know, whether you hear for beer, you know, uh, the, all these things must come to pass. All right. But these words are specifically for the elect because they're the only ones that have um, ears to hear these these words. All right. The words of Yahweh Hashem All right. And them building their foundation upon Yahweh Hashem Yoshai to be able to stand these great waters that are to come. All right. Which is uh, the Most High's uh, sword, which is Esau. All right. The wicked, which is the Most High's sword, which is Esau, Edom. You so-called white men, women and children. OK. Are going to come wrath. Come with wrath of of Yahabash Shai, okay? Because you know two thirds of our people are getting ready to be greatly judged, all right, and in the rest of the world, or you know other heathen nations also, all right, great judgment, okay? It, we're in that we're in that time, all right, the end of the world, at the end of this world, okay? So I'm gonna start here in Psalms chapter 124, and I'll start at the top, all right, verse one. If had if it had not been the Lord Yahweh who was on our side. Now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai who was on our side when men rose up against us, all right, because you know our enemies, all right, you and our number one, uh, which our number one enemy is Esau Edom, all right, you so-called white men, women, and children, all right, they're they are rising up against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, they're getting ready to come up against you, all right, because the devil shall come down upon you having great wrath, knowing that he have but a short time. All right, this devil was about to rise up against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, with the with the fury of Yahweh Shai. Okay, <clears throat> so this is uh, verse three. Then they had swallowed us up quick, exactly like a flash flood, when their wrath was kindled against us. All right, because you know you have uh, race wars, class wars. Okay, but it ultimately, you know, to sum it all up, you know. Uh, all these other nations are getting ready to come up against you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, even your own selves are going to come upon your own selves, okay? Because it, it's uh, survival, okay? Now everybody's going to feed up, be for themselves in that day. There shall be sedition among men, all right? Egyptian against Egyptian, okay? Because there's a lack of bread, all right? And the love of many shall wax cold because all the tribulations are getting ready to come, all right? But, you know, the waters, uh, the waters, you know, these, these troubles, all right, these tribulations are, are, are getting ready to uh, arise, all right, these plagues that the Most High get ready to send forth uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, okay, well, this is verse 4, then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had uh, gone over our soul, all right, overwhelmed us, all right, because, you know, how, you know, our Esau is about to get ready to come with, with great power, all right, because he's, he is still, he, he's still in power, all right, Job 9, 24, all right, and it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be rough out here. All right, great tribulations. Okay, again, how you know from the apostles on down, brothers is going into you know uh, Jacob's trouble because we have to remember that you know that we must do 
uh, much tribulation and turn to the kingdom of the most high. All these things must come to pass. And, you know, we have to go through, you know, much, much trouble. Okay. And that's Jacob's trouble. Okay. And it's going to be overwhelming at sometimes. Okay. You know, this, this is the ultimate test of faith. Okay. The hour of temptation, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right. All these things are getting ready to come to pass. All right. It's going to be very, very quick. All right. Very quick. Okay. You know, and it's going to be all at once. It's going to be a rush. Okay. But um, continuing, this is five. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Okay. And that proud waters is Esau, Edom. Okay. You know, and, and, and again, and going into, you know, how, you know, we're going into the, uh, the second time of Noah. Okay. You know, uh, but now it's a spiritual ark. Okay. And, and the waters, again, are not going to be literal water, literal waters from heaven. Okay. It's going to be this time, you know, you know trial, the trial of, of old was by waters and flood. Okay. But this time it's going to be, you know, by uh, uh, this lake of fire. Okay. Which is going to be from ultimately these nuclear missiles. All right. But, you know, the, the proud waters going into Esau, Edom. You know how he's gonna come down really hard on you, so-called news Latinos and the Americans, all right? With with martial law, all right? His kingdom is falling, all right? You know we're in the midst of World War Three. You know all those nations coming up against him, also, all right? Esau is getting cornered. He's a cornered dog, all right? And he's going into survival survival mode, all right? He's gonna he's gonna resort back to his blessing, which is his sword. Okay, yeah, he can. You know he has a sword of his his tongue, all right? He's 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 very um, deceptive. Okay, he has that pen with legislation, and he's very cunning and wise, all right? But all that's going to go out the window, all right? He's just going to come down with his sword, okay? Because he's tired of being politi politically correct, all right? He, and he, he's tired of hiding his hatred. He, you know, he, he hates you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, he despises you, all right? Because he is your natural-born enemy, okay? Just like a lion and, and a gazelle are. There will never be friends. Okay, you know, maybe maybe there's uh, some examples. All right, but you get the point where I'm, where I'm going. Okay. But this is um six. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. All right, the teeth is their strength. Okay, you know when when an animal he captures he, when an animal captures his prey, what does he do? He chows down on them. All right, with his teeth. Okay, but here the scriptures say, "Blessed be the Lord Yahweh who hath not given us prey unto their teeth." All right, not given over, not given us over to this devil. Okay, you know we're in the land of our captivity. All right, but we're getting ready to be delivered out of here. All right, he's not gonna by no means try to let you know just like uh, with uh, Moses. You know he, uh, the Pharaoh didn't, didn't want to let uh, 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 Moses's people go, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, but you know again going into that foundation. All right, um, you're only going to be able to abide, all right, when these floods arise, these great waters, these great troubles, all right, unless only if you uh, your foundation is upon Yahweh Shai, okay, you know that rock which is you know uh, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, all right, according to First Corinthians chapter ten verse four, okay, but continuing to verse seven, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers, all right, getting out of a trap, okay. Because what my people are like sheep led onto the slaughter, all right. But the Most High is going to make a way. All right. Again, going to that standard, you know. That's why I'm gonna close out uh, in Isaiah 59. But um, you know, continue, continue reading. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Exactly. The Most High is He made a way to, for us to get up out of here. Okay. You know, whether brothers get spiritual powers or you know, uh, you know, an angel uh, literally comes down and guides you. All right. I'm most highly to make a way, all right? And you have to believe that because this thing is about faith, all right? If you don't have faith and you don't have fear of Yah Bashim Shai, you will be overtaken and overcome, okay? And these waters will, you know, will, will flood you out, okay? You know? And this is this is going into your enter down to thy chambers, okay? Until the indignation be overpassed, all right? Because the Most High is coming with great wrath, all right? And he uses man as his instrument. Okay, to 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 uh, show forth his wrath. All right, and he will literally show his wrath. You know, also with Yahweh Shai. All right, the word. Okay, a lot of a lot of judgment is getting ready to be taking place. Okay, this is a uh, verse eight. Our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. That's why you're not supposed to fear man. All right, because man's steps are numbered. They can only be. Uh, they, no one can resist the will of the Most High, and they can only do what is ordained by the Heavenly Father. They're not out here doing their own thing, okay? You know, that's that's why the elect have favor with Yahweh Shai, all right? 
you know, the elect are taken care of because the Most High is taking care of them. All right, point blank, period. Okay, in, in the name of the Lord Yahweh, that's why you have to know his name. All right, there's no name under heaven which man shall be saved. Okay, Yahweh Bahashim El Shai. All right, you know, I was, I was driving uh, today earlier in the highway and uh, behind uh, in a semi truck, it had it had the um had Yahweh and the name of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew. Okay, on the back of his truck. Okay, people people know. All right, this is this is this is that time. All right, when the Most High is getting ready to visit the earth which He had made. Okay, and it says right here, He made the heaven and the earth. So what? He's getting ready. Second edition, ninth chapter. All right, getting ready to visit this place. Okay, you know, and and make judgment. All right, because we all are have, we're all gonna have to be uh sit. You know, before Yah Bashir and Shai, you know, for, for judgment, whether it be good or bad, all right? But, you know, the elect are going to be uh, preserved from these set perils to come because of their faith and because of their works, okay? And because the Most High have ordained them to be saved out of this, this great trouble, all right? Daniel's, Daniel, the 12th chapter, all right? Uh, like a trouble like never seen before, all right? That, you know, archangels, you know, you know, a lot of, a lot is going on, okay? This is the, this is the, the grand finale, Okay? This is the big uh, after you know a fireworks show. This is when all the you know, all the fireworks get let off. All right, there's no holding back. All right, because this is this is that last time. You know, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. You know, it's going to be a rough transition of power. It's not going to be a handover. It's not going to be all right. You know, uh, shake hands and move on. No, this devil is going to come down having great wrath. Okay, and this is likened onto a flood. All right, so this is um, Luke chapter six, and I will start at verse. 47 whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them i will show you whom he is i will show you to whom he is like it's 48 he is like a man which built an house and diggeth deep and laid the foundation on a rock all right and this is all spiritual okay again because that rock is who all right first corinthians 10 uh and 4 okay yahweh shai yahweh bashmiel shai is that rock all right continuing and when the flood arose, all right, all right, these devils are rising up against us, all right, getting ready to make a move, all right, uh, blame us, you know, just like um, uh, in the ancient Roman Empire with Nero, okay, they blamed the fire on the Israelites, all right, the, the uh, Christians, all right, it's going to happen again, all right, because this, this kingdom is falling, all right, and they need a scapegoat. No one, no, no, all the other nations are tired of dealing with America, all right, so what is what what is what does America have to do? All right, so-called America, Babylon the Great, have to do. All right, they have to sway the the people of this nation to you know fight back, because it's not looking too good for this place. So America needs a scapegoat. All right, it's gonna blame other nations. All right, and it's gonna be having false flags. All right, but what's gonna who's gonna be the new face of terror? All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, because you are the you know, more than more than uh, Russia, more than Iran, you are a greater threat to this man's kingdom than any other nations. Why? Because you are the children of the Most High. Okay, and if you come into power, everybody's out of rulership. Okay, and and this devil knows that. Okay, he's not stupid. Esau is not stupid. Okay, so continuing, uh, it's in verse forty-eight. The stream beat vehemently upon that house. All right, great troubles. All right, think of a hurricane, think of a tornado. All right, great power. All right, shaking up the house. Okay. Uh, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. All right, it was found. It was found upon Yahabash and Shai, just like in the days of Noah. That ark. All right, that great water came. Uh, the the great rain. All right, but what? That house was saved. Why? Because it was built upon Yah Shai. This is verse 49. But he that heareth and doeth not, all right, going into two thirds of our own people, is like a man without a foundation built in house upon the earth. Okay, again, this is spiritual. Against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Okay, and that's the house of you two thirds. Okay, you are getting ready to die, you know, horrible deaths. Okay. All of you must learn righteousness after what? Death by pain. Death after pain. You know, two thirds of our people are getting ready to be greatly judged. All right. And Esau is going to be the majority of, of uh, who's going to perpetuate or push that punishment. All right. According to the fury of Yahweh Shai. All right. The uh, judgment shall first begin at the house of the Most High. All right. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. And you're getting ready to see the Most High's fury. 
and how you've abused his ways. All right, and you hated knowledge. You hated Yahweh Bashem Shai. You chose not the fear of Yahweh Bashem Shai. So you shall learn it. All right, and and and, and after what? Death after pain. All right, the how the, the the ruin of the house is great. All right, you know that's why, you know you the, that's that narrow and straight. The only way you're gonna make it out of here is uh, through Yahweh Bashem Shai. All right, you know the, there's no escaping. All right, if you escape. Uh, what the scriptures say, you escape a bear or a lion, you know, you, you run into the house and you get bit by a snake. All right. There's no escaping. All right. You know, you, you, you dodge a sword, you dodge a famine. All right. But you're not going to dodge a nuclear missile. All right. And that's and this is this is that time. All right. These are the, the signs and seasons are right, all say that we are in the last days, the last seconds. All right. Because in a moment, everything can change. All right. Again, a flash flood out of nowhere. All right, this devil is going to come down upon you, so-called news, Latinos, and Native Americans. Martial law, everything, forced RFID uh, microchip implants, or which is the mark of the beast. All right, famines are going to be cutting off, uh, you know, food supplies. You name it. Sending people off to wars. Okay, draft. You know, I've been noticing on the highways, you know, a lot of construction is going on. All right, because for these, for these military vehicles to be driving through. All right, you look up uh, uh, on billboards, a lot, a lot of Marines uh, in uh, Navy, you you name it. All right, because this is that time. All right, uh, being politi politically correct and all that stuff. Okay, you know this devil. You know he's he he's gonna go out swinging. All right, and if you're not found upon Yahabash Shai, you are gonna be overcome. All right, so I'm gonna close out here with with the title of this lesson. This is uh, Isaiah chapter fifty nine. And uh, start at verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, from the West. All right, because why are we uh, talking about Babylon the Great? All right, we're in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, Western, the Western power, all right, which is so-called America. All right, the Most High is coming with great power and great glory. Again, Yahweh Shai is returning. All right. You know, all these fires are being kindled. All right, for the, what? The grand entrance of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. Okay. Because these devils think they're about to fill their fulfill uh, their new world order, fill their belly, okay, you know, and and, and destroy you so-called news Latinos and Native Americans with that Georgia guy stone, uh, that you know having everybody down the Earth's population down to five hundred million, all right. This is what this is what this devil thinks he's going to do, all right. But what, you know, the Al Bashir and Shai is getting ready to set up that standard, all right, which I'm I'm gonna read, all right, continuing. And his glory from the rising of the sun. Exactly. His glory. All right. Great power. All right. Because the kingdom of the Most High is not in word, but in power. And the Most High is coming with great power. You know, he's a, he's a man of war. A Yah of host, of army. All right. The Most High is coming with his army. All right. You know, Esau is known for his army. All right. But in, in his sword. All right. But nothing compared, you know, to this, uh, you know, this invasion. You know, this so-called alien invasion. Okay. Uh, what what is what is the so called white man's worst nightmare? All right, before you know, before uh, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Native Americans coming into power. All right, but that's what comes with it. After an alien invasion is when you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans come into power. All right, but this is talking about the return of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. All right, continuing, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. All right, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. A standard, okay, meaning. You know, the Most High is not going to let the elect be overcome by this judgment because, uh, you know, this judgment is for the world. All right. This judgment is not for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americas of the elect. All right. It says this judgment is not for you. This this is the time of your deliverance. All right. Because at the same time, you know, everybody's getting ready to get their reward, whether it be good or for bad. All right. The reward of the wicked and the reward of the righteous. All right. The reward of the righteous is deliverance and the reward of the wicked is destruction. Okay, all this is coming at the same time. All right, and again, this flood, all right, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out of nowhere, all right, because then the snap of a finger, you know, all hell can break loose, all right? And if you're, if you're, if you're not uh, rooted, all right, you will be overtaken, all right? But that's standard. All right, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to make a way. Again, will the angel come down and guide you? Will they give you spiritual powers? Okay, uh, will they, whatever it may be. All right, the Most High is going to make a way for you. And that's why you have to have faith. You have to believe it. All right, the Most High is dramatic. All right, it might look bad because it's going to look bad, okay? It's going to look very bad, all right? But the elect are going to be saved by what? Their faith and their works, okay? They believe Yahweh Shai is going to redeem them, okay? 
you know, and he will. He will speedily redeem his elect. Shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? All right. You have to remember that. All right. As as much as great destruction is getting ready to come, it's gonna look bad. Dead. You know everything you can imagine. All right. The worst. You know. Uh, you know. You think of uh, end of world movies. Ain't nothing gonna be compared to this this magnitude because it's gonna be global. Everywhere you go, it's just gonna be destruction, death. You know, plagues. All right. And it's gonna come in like a flood. All right. You know, it's a package deal. Okay. You know, nuclear missiles, ESA coming, you name everything. All right. But again. You know, the Most High is going to set up a standard for his elect. All right, now I'm going to close on this last precept. This is uh, verse 20. And the Redeemer, the Redeemer, exactly. The Redeemer shall come to Zion. All right, to you, you Israelites. All right. Mount Zion. All right. Because yeah, what? We're getting ready to be put in rulership, that government. Okay. You know, the tabernacle of David is getting ready to be established. All right. But what? all things must be filled, but be fulfilled. So thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, all right, and the tabernacle of David being risen up of old, all right, and the kingdom of heaven being put here on the face of the earth, all right, just like it is in the heavens, all right. This is what is happening, all right. Jacob's getting ready to get get his blessing. This is continuing, and unto them that turn from the transgre from transgression in Jacob, okay, not in Esau, not in Moab, all right, in Jacob, all right, the Israelites, the 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 children of the promise, all right. Saith the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai. Okay, the elect. He is coming to his elect. He, he, you know, ultimately, you know, all Israel shall be saved, but not all Israel is Israel. All right, because two thirds don't hearken unto the, the, the church of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai. That's why they're counted as heathen. Okay, so the Most High is coming to redeem his elect. So, you know, you have to, you have to hold on to that, that faith. All right, we're all going to be tested. Okay, and you have to remember the things that you've been taught. All right, you stick to your training. All right, we've been we we have been supposed to be building ourselves up upon this foundation, which is Yah Bashem Shai, and, and and building upon it, okay, building it, uh, faith, you know, wherever you know, else you uh, you know, your patience, okay, because you know all this is going to be put to the test, all right, and again, the Most High, you know, He's coming to redeem His elect, so He's not going to put you to nothing, you, nothing you can't handle, all right, you know, that's for the two thirds. You can't become you know going to Jacob's trouble thinking you're a two third, all right, because you know. Where your heart is, you know, that's that's where your treasure is. Okay? And if you don't think you're gonna be saved, how do you think you're gonna how do you expect to be saved? All right, it's that and it's that, that same principle works in the world. All right, how are you gonna be successful if you don't think you're gonna be successful? Okay? You know, the elect have the have the 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 blueprint of, of victory. All right, and that's through Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, you know, we shall get the victory. Lord's will, you know, uh I'm part of that number, okay? You know, but the elect are gonna be fine. All right, that's making your corn election shirt. All right, you know, but hey, this is that time. You know, we're almost out of here. And uh, hey, man, those one this was edifying. And as always, want to give all praises to Yah Bashim Yoshai, Bashim Makakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the whole collective Israel. Shalom.